Well, I'm back. It's not been easy, but I've arranged a meeting with Therma. <gasps> Take me there. Take me to Therma. In a moment. First, there's a couple of things we need to discuss. <laughs> Take me to Therma. Take me now. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go. The rooftops above Salis and Fedra were quiet. No one had a reason to be up here. I was looking forward to meeting the mysterious Therma, and I was hoping I might get some answers out of her. Unfortunately, the last thing I remembered was looking up at the moon. The next thing I knew, I was being arrested by the Watch. They told me Malachite was as dead as two sides of bacon, and I was the prime suspect. His back had been chipped away like he'd said something particularly insulting to a disgruntled quarry workman, and they seemed to think my crowbar was the murder weapon. I had the opportunity and a possible murder weapon. All they were missing was motive. And anyone who had ever tried to get an intelligent comment out of the troll had a motive to kill him. It looked like I'd been stitched up as nicely as a fine, genuine tapestry. They took me to Pseudopolis Yard to be interrogated. They had a salamander lamp shining in my eyes, so I couldn't see what was going on. But I could hear Nobby and a troll talking in the darkness. It was probably Detritus, the first troll to join the Watch. Detritus was the troll many people in Ankh-Morpork thought of when they heard the word troll bringing back, as it does, vague memories of sudden concussion and extreme pain. Sometimes you'd hear two short planks being described as thick as detritus. Your ideal street cop, in fact. So I'm the good cop? No, I'm the good cop. You're the bad cop. Dad, why don't I get to prod him a bit with my fists? Because we're supposed to get information out of him, and it's hard to understand people talking through a mouthful of loose teeth. I can smash lightly, more <laughs> like a gentle caress, right? No, no punching. Uh, I can kick using n minimal acceptable force. Like Mr. Vine says, lots of it. No, no punching, no kicking. We just talk to him. Talk? Right, well, I'll talk. You shout. All right, you've done it. Own up now. We know it was you. No, 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 not yet. Oh, all right. I've just got to start the audiograph. Right. All right, you've done it now. You've got to sing like one of them flappy twittery things. Wait. I've got to start the recording properly, otherwise it doesn't count. Right. Interviewing suspect Luton. Present, Corporal Nobbs and Sergeant Detroitus. Now? Now. All right, you've done it. You might as well make it easy on yourself. Everyone know it was you. This is my interrogation, is it? Don't you change the subject, you miserable excuse for our horse's donkey. Just tell us what happened, Luton. Here's the facts. Fact. Monday was killed. You found it at the murder scene. I was unconscious. How are you knowing you was unconscious if you was unconscious, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you with logic. Now you listen to me good, and then we see who wears the long two-legged garments. Fact. Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Thingy? You mean troll? Nah. Not escape troll. Escaped, uh... Feline. Escaped feline? Yeah. He escaped from a holding cell. Is it possible the word we're looking for here is felon? <laughs> That's the one. What did he do? Hey, we asked the questions, you miserable Arugaraha. You know what Arugaraha mean. He knocked over the Van Uberwald mansion. I never knocked over the Von Uberwald mansion. Now, that's what Malachite did. So what does Arugaraha mean? In a precise moment, that dog droppings turn white. I think you'd better get back to being the bad cop. I'm the good cop. Now, I'm the good cop. So that made me... Uh... The bad cop. 
So how come I not get to hit you then? We can't beat him up, Detroitus. That'd be police brutality. It only brutality if you leave Mox. <laughs> what show? Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Was killed. And you was found at the murder scene there too. Once again, I was unconscious. Oh, how convenient for you. Two murders and two unconscious unconsciousnesses. <laughs> what about the murder weapon, eh? What about the crowbar? Tell us where you got the crowbar, and I'll give you a smoke. One of your dog ends? No, thanks. I'll get you coffee. Maybe some cherry cake. New suit. You get to choose the color. I, I think you're taking this good cop role too seriously. Thank you. Now my turn. You want to fall down the steps to the cell without leaving your chair? It's fine by me. Look, I had a meeting with a troll named Therma on the rooftops of Salis and Fedra. I'd arranged it on Malachite's behalf, and when we got there, I must have been knocked unconscious by the killer. I know it sounds improbable, but that's how it happened. Two murders, and you happen to be unconscious at the scene of both. You gotta admit, Luton, it's a little far-fetched. You want I should make up a defense? You want I should lie? This is the lawyer's guild all of a sudden? Just tell us what you know. I've told you all I know. How come you know Malachite? I met him in the streets. He wanted me to find someone called Therma. When you find out he was a felony. A felon. And I didn't find out until just now. Luton, you're going down for murder. I don't think it's worth pretending you don't know who Malachite was. I didn't know who he was. Do I need to draw you a map? To what? It just doesn't seem right, Luton. You being a detective and all and not knowing one of your clients was an escaped felon. What can I say? I guess I'm not as good a detective as you are. You want to know what else? I wouldn't mind that map you mentioned. Might make things a little clearer. Shut up, Detroitus. There isn't a map. He said there was. <laughs> I kept following Malachite's case because it intrigued me. And the more I dug, the more interesting it became. What did you find out? I don't know. I guess I learned that I shouldn't have tracked down Therma. It seems likely to me that she's Malachite's murderer. Why don't you interrogate her? There's no troll named Therma in Ankh-Morpork. You expect us to believe that this Therma killed Malachi and Mundy and framed you for both? Come on, sing like a pigeon on a stool. You've done it, didn't you? There's no reasoning with you, is there? Not often. Come on, you ugly sewer scraping. We want something we can believe. That's enough, Detritus. Sir? You can go. I did it right? Let's say you were everything I expected. Now go and write up the report. Not in crayon this time, please. That should keep him busy for a few days. He may be slow, but he's not an untrustworthy killer like you. Why the personal interest in this case, Vimes? I'm sure you've got more important things to do now you're commander of the watch. My reasons are my own. You're not interested in my guilt or innocence. You're just out to nail me. Frankly, Luton, I've got all the evidence of your guilt I need. And if I get my way, they'll lock you up and melt down the key for scrap iron. You're a bad cop, and I don't have any time for you. If you're so convinced of my guilt, why the interrogation? Nobby has this deranged idea that there might be some extenuating circumstances that we ought to find out about. It'd make everything a lot easier if you'd confess, Luton. I'm sure you had a good reason to do what you did. Let us help you. Cigarette? Holiday for two in Querm, see face in room, we pay the mini bar bill. I'm not guilty and I'm not confessing to a crime I didn't commit. Listen to me, Luton. We're conducting this interrogation because I believe in upholding the law. There is no law in Ankh-Morpork. True enough. 
But there's my law, and there's the patrician's law. Which would you rather face? What's the difference? Lord Veterinari considers it a happy state of affairs if the punishment can involve the actual perpetrator, but sees it as by no means essential. I consider it to be absolutely essential. But you've already decided that I'm guilty. That doesn't mean I've proved it. And if I prove my innocence? That's not going to happen. Then what's the point of this farce? Smoke? No. The thing is, Luton, we just want to find out what happened. Do one decent thing in your life, Luton. Help us close this case. Why should I? So we can close this sorry little act and concentrate on the threat to the city. The threat? The counterweight killings. Doesn't it make more sense that both Mundy and Malachite were killed by this so-called counterweight killer? That's what you'd like us to believe, isn't it? You make the murders look like the counterweight killings and hope to get away with it. That's it, isn't it? You're not interested in me. You want to catch the counterweight killer. You're just a low-life killer, Luton. My job is to protect citizens from people like you. What? You don't even like them much. You think they're all criminals. Maybe. But murder leaves the place too messy. Look, Luton, we don't think you're involved with the counterweight killings. But we have to know which ones are which if we're going to stop him from killing again. This is your chance to be a hero. To help us to catch a foreign assassin. A hero? There's nothing I can do to save myself. Why should I care about the rest of the city? You were a good man once, Luton. This could be your one shot at redemption. I was never that good a shot. You ought to know, Luton, that you're a suspect in the counterweight killings. That crowbar of yours was palace property, which means you had access to at least one of the murder sites. You're getting desperate, aren't you? We're wasting our time with you. Will you explain to me why you're so confident that Mundy and Malachite weren't killed by whoever was responsible for the rest of the counterweight killings? Everyone else has been sort of important. Mundy and the trowel were nobodies. Quiet, Nobby. You're crazy. You think you've found a pattern and you're forcing everything else to fit it. We're doing our job. What about Reagan? The dead dwarf? What about him? Another murder in suspicious, almost ritualistic circumstances. He's a nobody, but it has all the hallmarks of a counterweight killing. Are you confessing to the murder of Reagan? No. I'm just saying that Mundy and Malachite aren't the only nobodies to get bumped off in mysterious circumstances. There was nothing mysterious about Reagan's death. People don't just drive carriages off a bridge for no reason. He was driving recklessly across the city. It's probably just a suicide. Maybe he was just drunk. What about the bite marks? Bite marks? There weren't any bite marks. I looked. Reagan was murdered. I'm sure of it. You've got bigger problems than that right now, Luton. I suggest you concentrate on them. Surely you have other suspects for the murders I'm accused of, even if you don't think they're part of the counterweight killings. Uh, Smoke? A set of the complete plays of Well the Dwarf, bound in nearly real leather? No, I don't want a smoke. I want to know who the other suspects are. At the moment, you're top of our list. Although you are the bottom of our list, too. I am the list, aren't I? Sorry. Don't apologize, Nobby. Listen, Luton. There are other suspects for the counterweight killings, and we're investigating those. But for Mundy and the Troll, you're the bottom line. Hmm. What about Al Kali? Al Kali? One of Horst's cronies. I think he's been following me. I guess I could interview him. Why do I have a feeling that you won't? Face it, Luton. You killed Mundy. You killed Malachite. 
and you tried to make it look like it was part of the counterweight killings. Nothing I say is going to convince you of my innocence, is it? It doesn't look that way. All right. Yes, I was in Mundy's room when he was killed, but I was unconscious. And yes, I was on the rooftops when Malachite was killed. Again, I was unconscious. I don't know what happened, but somebody knocked me out. And whoever they are, they're the one you should be looking for. Fine. If that's the way you want it, that's the way you'll get it. Give my regards to Lord Veterinary when your trial comes up. I doubt he'll be as patient with you as I have. The fact is, mister, that with you behind bars, the city will be a slightly better place.